You probably will not believe me, but buying this little thing is going to be the best decision you've ever made in your software development career. Many software engineers, like myself, have some attention issues or maybe suffering from some neurological conditions. And we often tend to be disorganized, yet very engaged in our activity. Also, sometimes we get short-tempered and we burst out when we shouldn't. And one of the things that helped me to overcome this was this little notebook. And it doesn't have to be this notebook, of course, any color, any notebook would work. And I just wanted to tell you how I personally use this in order to help me to be a better developer and a better communicator. So in this video, I will tell you three techniques that you can use with this notebook to significantly boost up your career and professional growth. First things first, and that was probably one of the reasons I bought this in the first place. Sometimes when there is a hot argument at work, for example, some professional discussion, choosing a technology, choosing a direction, I could get short-tempered, I can get out of control, and when this happens, I am failing to communicate my ideas, and sometimes I'm losing an argument, even if I had a very good point. And if I don't lose an argument by being a bit short-tempered and emotional, I'm hurting my relationships with my colleagues and I'm hurting my career growth chances. Obviously, while growing up, I managed to control my outbursts and my emotions. But what happened instead that I also started to avoid expressing my point, which wasn't a very good decision either. Just avoiding the conflict doesn't make the conflict go away. So what I did, whenever I feel the that I'm getting emotional, I'm taking this little notebook and I'm doing the following. I'm writing down first my goal of a particular conversation. What is it that I'm trying to achieve? Because sometimes in an argument we are forgetting this. Second, what are my emotions and what are the reasons for these emotions? Why I'm getting emotional and why I feel, for example, threatened or underwhelmed or whatever it is. And finally, when I'm calmed down and when I had a chance to think things through, I'm writing down my arguments and probably a plan for a following discussion. And sometimes when you need to give an critical feedback to your colleague or to your manager. Doing this on the spot might not be a very good idea, but you can use this right down in those exactly three steps. The tool number two. Most of the functionality stories and products I work on are getting a bit complicated. And it's not only about complex business requirements, which I usually outlined in the spec or Jira. You can just discuss them with your product manager or whoever it is. But also implementation-wise, the plan how you're gonna implement this can get a bit complicated. And if I don't write things down and I don't check them as completed, I might have forget something. And I'm using this as my personal checklist, like in aviation, they are using checklist for a safer air transportation. I'm using checklist for a more consistent and safe software deliveries. Finally, quite often, you might want to discuss something with your manager and with your colleagues. And what I found as extremely useful is to plan ahead this conversation. And I'm doing this again in three steps. Step number one, identifying what are my goals from the conversation, what I'm trying to achieve on the spot and probably in the long term. And then I'm going to a more concrete step by step, uh, probably just a list of items that I want to discuss with my colleague, my manager, whoever it is. And last bit, 
while I'm doing the conversation, I'm going through this list. And I'm also writing the summary, what we have concluded and what possibly we haven't managed to conclude at the point so I can make a decision if it's something that I want to return back in future or not. So this little notebook was an immense help for me and I believe everyone can use at least one of these techniques working with this notebook. It is obviously not limited to programming or software development. I believe it will work with every communication issues or with every complicated work that you need to do. And yes, it does work exceptionally well for me, but I would like to know maybe you have some other techniques to fight your short temper. Or maybe you think that those are not needed. I would really love to know what you think about that. And also I appreciate that this kind of content is rather unusual on my channel. So if you like it, just give me a like and write me a comment. Oh, and if you don't like it and you think I should concentrate on something else, please also do comment because I'm really looking forward to making this channel as useful for you as only possible. As always, it was Test Encoder. Share, comment, subscribe and see you around.